Are you in your place? It's where you put me. <laughs> Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're going to be doing some more of the bins bags from St. Louis. We're getting down to the end, but I did have some um, Ikea bags with hard goods in it. So I'm going to start pulling some of that back in too. So I can get it listed. And when you say hard goods, you don't mean like pots and pans no. and other hard goods. You mean non-fluffy toys. Yeah. Toys. Hard toys. We don't buy a lot of hard goods there. No, we don't. I have any one thing that we picked up, but for the most part, no. It's, it's not mostly that we, toys. It's mostly toys. We look for other stuff. We just focus on the toys so we don't see a lot of the other stuff. And some of it we just don't want. Well, and at St. Louis, a lot of times the like dishware and stuff is in a back that downtown one is in a back 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 corner and i don't normally get back there i don't i don't even think to go back there unless you're back there and i'm just coming to find you I'm so, hiding. Hmm? i'm hiding right right all right so let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff from the the, the hard toys i let me see i'll show this one first this one intrigues me because i've got four pieces but look, it says Disney Railway. I wish I had some of the figures. Look, that's got the the three pigs. Not good. Family crisis. Well, not really. Not really. Daniel called and said he ran over something on the way to work and popped a tire. And now he's waiting on a tow truck. Mm -mm -mm. It's a good thing about working, though, at a, a car be... maintenance place. So yes. Just tow it to work and get it fixed there. Fix his own tire. True. I like this look. Three little pigs and Donald Duck and two of the boys. Huey, Louie, Dewey. Oh, wait, and then this piece. Oh, I like that. It needs some cleaning, but I don't know. I'm hoping maybe $15, $20 for that. I, don't, I guess these go with this, but look. This is interesting, too. Definitely vintage. It's got these little people with magnets on the bottom thinking maybe this was the instructions for it it says it's by play rail i don't know i'm hoping 10 to 15 dollars just as replacement pieces i don't think so you don't think i know it says copter but if you look down there there's a train Well, why would they call it a merry-go-copter if it's a train? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Some more smalls. Daniel. Dan oh, yeah. Daniel's Neighborhood. One of the figures. I've got, I think, two lots going right now. So if I don't have her in one of them, I'll just add her. Bump the price up a little bit. Little People Nativity Set. It's just a cow. I've got some... Uh, animals listed if it's the same year because I think the ones I just listed were like 2005 if this is the same year I'll add it to it and that's supposed to be an ox not a cow because you know, the ox and lamb kept time oh I don't know I, 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 all the little people nativities have donkeys and cows I'm just and going, camels I'm just basing it on the song right wait or is it the ass and lamb I think it's I ass. I don't know. Don't know. Are you going to have to bleep that word? <laughs> it's an animal. So I do have to Google it now. Yep. All right. Paw Patrol. I've got some figures lotted up right now, so I may just add this also to it. That's my, that's my thing. I like to make lots, and I just... Always keep it in mind that I may have some listed and I'll just add it and bump the price. These are the water babies. This one, it says Lauer, but it's also by Just Play. Um, this one has water in it, but it doesn't have the plug. In our last picking video, I showed one of the larger ones of this that has the plug in the back. And I had set it back down because they are terrible for dry rot. And I just, I don't mess with them. But I'll add, I think at one point before fourth quarter, I had some of these listed. If I still do, um, I'll add her. Otherwise, she'll be the start of a new lot. When you say you don't mess with them, you don't mess with the ones that have the dry rot. Right, that have the dry rot. 
Because you like the other ones. I really like the other ones, especially if you can find like the Disney um, and Care Bear outfits that go with them. It is ox and lamb. It is ox and I thought that sounded right. All right. Vintage Fisher Price. Um, it goes to one of the tea sets or it could be one of the dish sets. I'll probably just list this, but it, it will only probably be like four or five bucks. Oh, and then this. Always picking up doll bottles and pacifiers. This one says Jack's on it. I'll have to figure out which doll that is. But pacifier, and then this is CPK. It says it right there on the edge. Not sure how old, but I may have, again, I may have a CPK bottle lot going right now, and I may just add it, depending on the value. If I can list this for like 6 to $8, then I usually will do that. So one of the things about working for yourself is it, well, first, we do this for money. Yes. But we enjoy it. Yes. And we could both make more money elsewhere, but we've homeschooled our kids. We've been able to do inexpensive, basically, vacations that we wouldn't be able to do. Whenever we want. Whenever we want. Not based on, oh, you know, you, you can't go because you just took off three weeks ago. If I need to go somewhere i can go somewhere if i want to go see my parents i can go see my parents yes and but part, another part of this is that everything doesn't have to be driven by a dollar mm -hmm. we can do some of what we do like i said we do this for money but we can do some of what we do for fun like yes. if you were just trying to make money you wouldn't pick up that 495 fork no you would just leave it there because it's not worth a hassle but you'd like that i do i like finding the things that I like. And it brings you a bit of joy in your work. And it keeps you motivated. Keeps you motivated because you're doing something fun to get you through the rest of the day when you're having to do some of the unfun things that yeah. make money. Car magazines, y'all. I finally did them. I've had them two or three years. Car magazines, not fun to work on. But there's a chunk of money in those magazines there you picked up. There was a chunk up. of money. And now you could have a little fun less than the Fisher Price for Yes, my smalls. Yep, yep. All right, put the glasses back on. This is one of those squeaker toys. I don't see, sometimes they're Gerber, some of the other older brands. Um, this one just says Made in China. But I've done very well on these. There's, there's collectors for these little, I guess, vinyl type squeak toys. I'm hoping like 12 to $15 for it. picked up quite a few of these on this trip they're just like the monster jams a lot of them i've been listing like eight to ten dollars just really depends once i google lens it and figure out what its name is then i'll be able to decide and i've this got one, a, this one's called sneaky snake is that what it says on the side no i just oh saw it was a snake and thought of tom t hall yeah these are Cats and Pickles. I've got a lot of these. I think I picked up a, several of these during this trip. And then as I'm finding them in the bags, I'm adding them. NASCAR, Andy, Kirby. Probably bread and butter. But just, you know, there's collectors for this also. We don't find a whole lot of NASCAR around here that's reasonably priced. No, everybody around here highly values their NASCAR stuff, even though it doesn't sell that well on ebay especially based on what we would have to buy it for yep i don't know if this is together but look how nice condition she is she made it through the bins very cute the dress is nice not sure what the year is it's probably on her head or on her back but i've got that and then the stand says which makes me think maybe benefit ball barbie but i've got a stand some little blue shoes in here. Does she have shoes on? No, she does not. Well, maybe it is her. Don't know. But if not, I'll separate them and just list them that way. Because those blue shoes actually do not seem to match that dress. And then this. Love this. But it's got lots of discoloration. It looks like it might have been like stickers and stuff. So I'll see if I can get it off with alcohol. But there's a lot of this on vintage toys like this. The glue yellows. And there's, I don't think much you can do with that. 
but let's see what it says. 1973, I don't know. Oh, Long Ranger, Lone Ranger. Long, Long Lone Ranger. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, I don't know about this, but look, a lot of times when you find these vintage horses like this, they still don't have all of this. All of this has been torn off. The saddle seems to be in really good condition also. Oh, I see one thing. Oh, no, there it is. I thought I was missing a stirrup. Very nice. Don't know. I don't know. In this condition, I'm hoping it's anything over $10, but maybe it's worth more. And then PJ Masks. This one had a figure with it. He's got his figure with it. And then this is like the Night Ninja. If I've got one in a lot, I may pull him to put with this also. Not sure if I'll make a... I may make a lot of all three of these. And that way I can maybe hopefully list it for like 20 or so dollars. This must have been a Robert pickup. I don't tend to look at shoes when we're out at the bins. But it says it's... I can Third time. I know. It says Supra. Do you need me to come around there and do that part of the show? Uh-huh. Supra FTWR Company. I don't know anything about them. That way. Did you see my note yesterday about the bowling shoes? I'm ignoring your <laughs> note about the bowling shoes. Go ahead. Humiliate me. <laughs> I was starting to process these... What was the brand? Pyramid bowling shoes that Robert picked up at a Goodwill. Different sizes. One was an eight, one was a nine. So I think we're going to go back to that um, thrift store and see if the other two are still there. Maybe somebody else noticed that they were the wrong size and left them. You feel better now? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. All right. This is obviously... Little Red Riding Hood, Big Bad Wolf, one of the reversible. I think some people call them like Topsy Turvies. Um, probably bread and butter. Oh, look, wait. We've got the grandma on the back here. That looks more like a vampire rat or something than a Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. I like them. I might put this on my wall because it's Fisher Price, but it's one of the roll around vehicles. There's a little, the roll around balls. Sometimes they call them Pika balls go in here. Um, but I don't know if I have any, I just sold four that I had made a lot of. So I may have to put it up there and then wait till I find one again. So I don't want anybody to think that uh, my feelings were actually hurt about the shoes because <laughs> I would have to say, I have this thing about working. If you if you don't make mistakes, you're not doing enough work. Mm -mm. And if you haven't made a bad buy, you haven't sourced enough. Oh, I make lots of... I make... We all make bad buys, you know. Something that it, I think, and you guys will see it sometimes in my videos, I'll think it's worth, you know, 10 to 12 or $15, and the price has just plummeted. And, you know, it happens. It happens. Or you get home and it's got... Holes, uh, uh, holes, or tears. something broken off the the side, or yeah, it happens. I showed a Bakugan recently uh, in one of my videos, and he's missing the whole back. I, I'm thinking wings or something. You know, a lot of times you're just not as familiar as you think you are with stuff, and you miss that stuff. So it went in my donate pile. Look how cute! Love it. It's Russ going to need a bath. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Yeah, no, it's not getting a bath. I'm going to try to have to clean, hand clean it because those are like those iron-on fuzzy things here on his face. Love that. And then these were called Fisher-Price Amazing Animals. I bought it for my wall because I needed an example of one of these. I'm trying to make examples of a lot of different things that Fisher-Price put out. You know, just and and so anytime I see something and I'm like, ooh, I need that for my wall. That's what I'm doing. But there's a whole series. There's Disney characters and there's also just animals. 
but they click. So here's what I'm thinking about the lower part of your wall down there, kind of down there behind your yep. your right arm in the video, is that could be our wall of shame. We could no. put we could put the bowling ball or the the bowling shoes there with the fedora sitting on top of it, right next to the to the back. No, I'm gonna put larger. Like I've got that owl. I just need to clean it up, and I'm gonna hang some of the larger things right across there. We need a wall of shame. Just a little section. Maybe. Of why in the world did we do that? Here, right up there above my head. Right that way. And then every <laughs> now and then we could tip the camera up and say, look at that. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, now let's get to some of the plush. All right, grabbed an arm load here. Let's see what you are. This is Nanco. Hand puppet, a tiger. Probably going to be bread and butter, 8 to 12. This is one of the Disney's Zum Zums, Zoom Zooms. I mess that up every single time. If I have a Mickey li listed, because I think I have some of the larger ones, I may just add her to that. Initially, I thought maybe Boyd's, but it's actually Applause. Let's see if he has a name. Sometimes the Applause. This is a birthstone baby bear June. He should have had a necklace on him, and he doesn't. So he may end up in my donate pile. Just checking on comps before. Progressive plush. I just I think showed another one, a different animal in that brand recently. So depending on what the animal was, I'll probably make a lot. A lot. His name is Sealy the Sloth. They're mostly bread and butter. This intrigues me. What are you? Look how cute that is. It is Ringo. Oh, and he's first in Maine. Love that brand. He's going to need a bath. But I'm, I'm hoping maybe $15 or so for him. Does he play the drums? Nope. Cole's Cares. He's got his paper tag. At some point they put him on sale for $3.50. They're no, They used to be $5. I think they're more than that now. But I probably have him listed already but because he has a paper tag I'll list him separately because you know the condition is different he has a tag bread and butter though probably this is intriguing it says something there's a hologram sticker on the paper tag cotton food cotton food yeah Anime plush. We'll have to Google Lens and see. I don't know. It says 2016 SNP Toy World. Don't know. Very intriguing. I'm hoping 12 to 15. This is 2000 Sesame Street Elmo. If I've got like a cookie monster this size, I may add him with it, Big Bird. Um, if not, though, I'll just listen. A lot of times they're bread and butter. Gallery, advertising, Reese's. Going to be bread and butter. I think I bought him because I had the blue dog. I do not know this cartoon at all. But I had the blue one, so I was going to go ahead and add this to it, if I still have it. Um, otherwise, I'll just start a new lot. All I know is Bluey. Bluey. That's all I know, too. I think it's Australian. You think? I think. I don't know. Winnie the Pooh baby toy. If I've got something else, again, I'm just going to add it to a lot. You know, if there's a baby type plush that I have. Very, very cute. Oh, look. I think it's different, though. Look at this. I think this is... um like a Hasbro or something. But I may just go ahead and make the lot of Big Bird and Elmo together. Got a couple of these babies. They tend to do really, really well for me. It'll be, you know, 8 to $10 for the two of them. I've got a small pile over there. I was getting ready to process them yesterday. Glad I didn't because I found another one. So now I've got four. 
it's probably going to be like 10 or 12 dollars for the four of them i don't know who these are don't know they look funko to me probably are but not sure kind of seems like they go together i'll use google lens to figure them out i think still bread and butter a lot of these small funko things are then some more little people i've got I think this is Mary and Joseph from a nativity set. And then I've got these two. I call these the heavies. I may go ahead and just put these two together. A lot of times it's like $8 to $10. I like to make about $3 per figure. Sometimes I get more. Sometimes, you know, in lots it might equal out a little less. But they're light. I probably maybe have spent... 10 cents for these. All right, some more of the plush. Aurora and Aurora. I'll figure out, you know, what type of spaniel he is. Probably going to be bread and butter. I may find a wild animal lot that I can add him to. I think I found a different one of these. It's Six Flags. It says winner, so they must have won this in one of the, the games. I could have sworn I've had one of these recently. Don't know. Maybe it was a different animal. I am learning. I bought a bunch of Six Flags plush, and they don't sell for a whole lot. You know, I'm hoping maybe $12 to $15, maybe a little bit more. I think I actually sold like an alligator recently. Look how cute, and it's like that vinyl covering on his feet and his beak. It says Animal Works. I'm not seeing a tag. I mean a date. Made in Thailand. That's all I'm seeing. But this definitely has vintage vibes to me. I don't know. I'm hoping 20 plus for him. This says, oh, Purely Lux. Pretty sure that's Aurora. Yeah. He is very soft, but not as soft as like the rabbits that I've shown before that are purely Lux. But I think he needs a bath, nevertheless. Probably bread and butter. Look how cute. He's got the big feet, fluffy. Look at those eyes. And he's Toy Factory. I diss them all the time, but here I've picked up several of them recently. He's adorable. Based on the brand, Unfortunately, I'm hoping like maybe 12 to 15 for him. I got to learn to say just say no. This is just one of those. I have a hard time selling them, but I know now this is Kelly toy. I'm pretty sure I have a different animal. It's like a bear dressed up as something else. I'll probably try to figure out what the other one was and pull it and make a lot. That should have fallen into your just say no to unicorns category. Just say no to unicorns. You would think I'd learn. This is Walmart. Should have had this listed in time for Easter, but I didn't. Hush. We've got a little bit. Two weeks. If you get it listed pronto. Yep. Get it, it listed go pronto. Um, they're usually like ten to fifteen dollars. So wait, if she lists this today, y'all think it'll sell before? Easter, which is, this is, we're recording this on March 19th. Easter is on the 31st. 31st, I think. So do you think it'll get shipped out in time for Easter? I don't know. Let us know what you think. The question is, will it get listed today? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right. A couple of little things here. She's from that, like, Red Hat Society, I think. Unless I see a tag that actually says Red Hat Society, I won't use those words because, you know, that's keyword spamming. But I have a feeling that's what she was meant to be. Because it's, let's see, May Mod Finkel Designs. Hmm. That's all I'm getting is it on her tag. I don't know. This one's new to me. It just intrigued me. This seems very discolored. I have a feeling maybe it was supposed to be white. I don't know. I'll see what others look like. I'm hoping 15 or so dollars for her. So you said you wouldn't use the Red Hat Society. What if you could find another item looks just like this online with 
the Red Hat Society tag or whatever. Then I would says. use those words. Or if somehow this Maud Finkel person is associated with that society, then I will use them. But otherwise, I steer clear of keywords like that unless I can definitely associate it with another item that has a tag that says it is. All right. Unfortunately, I don't know what this went to. We probably picked up pieces and parts. I probably identified it with Google Lens or something. Yeah. To know what it was there. Because I don't want, we can't just sell random things and not know what they go to. Right. So I did something to identify what it went to. And this top right here might actually help me identify it. But just yesterday I was processing some, something that looked just like this, except not this top. Some type of food processor. I'm trying to think what was the brand. I don't know if it was Black & Decker. I don't think so. But hopefully we'll figure out what it is. Sometimes we find like the whole unit at the bins and the base is damaged in some way. The cord is frayed or something and it's not going to be you know, right. usable. Then we'll take these parts. Then we'll take the parts off of it. Yeah. But the one that I listed yesterday, I think like this center blade was going to be $10. This part was going to be $10. And then you, sometimes I get more for these because... These tend to be the thing that gets broken, um, and then the base. So it just really depends. All right, y'all. Another video down. Uh, several more to go from the bins, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to start getting yard sales showing up. Hopefully, as soon as this weekend. I know at least one estate sale that I'm going to probably go to, and then we can get footage, hopefully, for the picking channel, and then do hauls. But I have. We haven't even done a haul yet on the stuff that we picked up at Peaches to Beaches. So that needs to be next. And then we'll try to get some of that footage out also. All right. Get to work. Bye.